Hey everybody, welcome to part two of my Pokemon Go Japanese booster pack opening mini series, we'll call it. So, if you've seen the first one, you saw that I pulled a, my favorite card I got out of that first set, I should say, is the Radiant Charizard. Really enjoyed pull, opening those packs. Um, opening the Japanese cards is always fun because they do look and feel so much, um, they feel like a higher quality build and like more uh, premium than the American cards, in my opinion, of course. So let's just dive right into this. Uh, like every time I open packs, I kind of show you what we're opening. We're opening Japanese Pokemon Go cards. Uh, I think there's six cards in every pack. Uh, I wish I could go more into detail. Here's the back of the pack. I don't know any of this. All I can say is it's for sale in Japan only and it was made in Japan. And I see a neon tech. But other than that, everything is in a language that I don't understand for the most part. These guys came out in 2022. And uh, yeah, I've been enjoying... I've had more fun opening these than I think I had with the American Pokemon Go. Because I got my butt kicked by the American ones. Gosh. And I'm seeming... Another amazing thing is I'm having not a bad time opening these. Like, usually I struggle with packs. Usually I absolutely struggle getting the packs open. And right now, I'm <laughs> minorly struggling. Yeah. Okay, let's get into this. So, we have a Larvitar. Oh, yeah, and if you watched the last video, you'll know that I don't know what these guys' names are for the most part without having the English one. I don't know who this is. I don't know. I was going to try. This is a... Is this what male metal? Is this male metal? Or is it the other guy's male metal? Who knows? We've got a trainer card. I know that. And oh, we got something here and it's textured. Ooh, it's yellow too. I, is this a Zapdos is what I'm going to assume. Let's see. Called it. Yes. Cool. So we got a Zapdos here. It looks really good. Um, is there texturing? Yeah, there's texturing on here too. Okay, there's texturing. I was just uh, double checking if I was uh, seeing it right. Yeah, these uh, these cards just pop with that silver border. Very nice. And finally, we've got a fighting energy. So, Zapdos, next up, let's see. Even these uh, just basic hollows look really good in here. So, that's fun to, it's fun to open packs just by getting like nice looking cards. Value. Value schmal you, I'll say. Um, I'm not that person that is super into the value. And you know what I just remembered is I haven't been checking if these are ditto cards. Crap, I'm going to have to go through all my other cards and just double check. But we got a spinner wreck, uh, I think. Oh, whatever Bidoof becomes. Maybe that is Bidoof. Luna? Okay. We've got a war turtle, for sure. That's a war turtle. Oh, I bet it's a Venusaur. It is a Venusaur. Many of these I have received already. Cool card to get though. I don't have that one yet, so I will add it to the collection. Very cool. Okay, next up. Sorry, I'll try to open it on camera. I'm trying to open this in a way that it, I don't struggle for five minutes trying to open a pack. Uh, I'll keep it on camera just for the sake of, uh, of the video. Okay, put it back to the side. This is a monkey of some sort. Spinarak, right? Spinarak. We've got a Magikarp. Oh, whatever Natu becomes. Maybe this is a Natu. Okay, and we've got a V. Oh, is it a Conkledur? Conkle? No, it's that monkey. I don't know what his name is. Okay, put him down. And fire energy. Next up, put it down. Okay, we've got a Fampy <laughs> with a question mark, a Larvitar, a Trainer, Braviary, I think. And oh, we've got a, oh, is this a Gyarados again or a Blastoise? This is neither. This is a, a Lapras. Okay, so we're getting, um, we are getting quite a few of the regular hollows, which is fine. I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept anything. I mean, these were $5 packs Canadian, so that's like less than $4 American, <laughs> I would say. 
Um, I do like, uh, so when it comes to the Japanese stuff, I usually buy it a little bit after when uh, when the prices have come down, when people are trying to dump it because, uh, I don't know, I'm not big into the Japanese packs. It's more of a, hey, I want to have a little bit of fun, but I'm not looking to get any major pulls. Okay, we got a Charmander. There's the Ivysaur. Got a trainer. Oh, and a, it's a purple. Is it a Mewtwo? No, it's a Sylveon. Yeah, it's a cool one to get though. It looks beautiful. And a Leaf Energy. Well, you know what? This video wasn't as productive as the last one. We got mainly hollows and 1V. Nothing super special, but I enjoyed it either way. Um, cards still look fantastic with that silver border and the, everything, the cards are printed so clearly. Yeah, they just look great, you know? Even this, this V, it just looks a little bit nicer than the American ones. And I'm not sure what exactly it is. Maybe it's because there's a little bit of, um, of texturing to it. I don't know if you can see it very well in here, but uh, it's not texturing, I should say, but how do I, uh, the cards kind of pop. They look almost, the word I'm thinking is like more 3D. Hmm, very cool. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you want to see any more of this, like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to me about uh, what you think about Pokemon Go. Did you open it? Did you enjoy it? And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.